All right. In our last lecture, we stopped with a question mark saying how we could handle the delete operation gracefully instead of just failing uh, because of the scenarios error. So in order to get around this problem, I always suggest people to make a better coding in terms of handling the data that you are holding over here. So before you actually do the ensure operation, make sure that you also perform the deletion of the data. You can do this in two ways. Basically, before you ensure the product that you are trying to create, make sure that you delete the product with same name probably and then create the product. This way you don't end up performing a conflict into the database. Or you could also perform the delete operation in such a way that you do the deletion on the background of the scenarios on the feature file over here. You can do anything you can. So you can just add a background step over here and you can tell them that given I clean up following data, something like this. So I can just put all the data that I'm trying to clean up over here. This way I could delete all of them. I mean, we can just put the name like monitor, headphones or something like that. So whatever name that is there, it is going to go and delete that. We could do that as well if you really wanted to. Or we can just put the whole details as you can see over here. I can just copy this. I can put it over here or something like that. Do I want to do this way? I mean, it's all up to me whether I need to do this or not. But I'm just going to go with a very, very simple approach. And I will leave it to you guys to figure out how you really wanted to do it. I mean, it's all up to our imagination. Just the imagination is the barrier over here. You just have to think what you wanted to do. If you think this is what is right thing for your project to do, just go with it. But I'm just going to show you one of the example of handling that. But you will find way different ideas than what I'm showing over here. So I just copied this particular step definition as you saw I was doing it. I'm going to go to the reusable steps over here and then I'm going to put this guy over, which means I'm going to actually perform a cleanup operation even before the creation is going to happen. That's my whole idea here. So I'm going to get the product pretty much like how we used to do before. And I'm going to delete that particular product using the product type completely. So in order to do that, I'm just going to call our product repository once again. So product repository dot delete the product. And in order to delete the product, you can see that we have two options. One is editing by ID or by name. So anything should be fine. So we can just say product dot probably name. Yeah. This way it is going to delete that particular product for me. So this is how I ensure that the product is actually being deleted so that it won't end up just waiting for this delete to happen, but it is going to be deleted for us even before that. And if I wanted to do the exact same thing, even over here, I could do that as well. So I can just copy paste what are the product that I have created, like headphone, something like this. So I could paste that. And because this is like two values that I have put over here, I could probably do an enumeration. So I can use something called as create set method of spec flow, which is going to get the I enumerable of the product. Like it is going to be like an enumerable type. So you get this error already. So what you need to do is you need to do a for each loop where you're going to say it's going to be products now. So I'm going to say products of product. And I can just put this code over here. So now you see that it's going to keep deleting all the products which is there on the table that we have got. So this way it reduces the number of uh, product creation as well. So this is another better way of doing it. So now let's try running the same test once again. And it is failing, which is all right. So now it says that the value cannot be null as an entity over here. So let's see what is this issue basically. So if I just put a breakpoint over here and let's try running one of the test on the debug mode. So you see that we get in over here and we're going to this particular product and we're getting the product and you can see that we are actually getting a product something like this. And while I try to delete the particular product, 
using the delete product method that we have got and let's go to the delete product implementation using its name this one let's try continuing it so this is the power as i told you that you can work side by side with the product itself if you have if you have the knowledge on how the product is even built so you could debug that which is great actually you learn even more coding than what you do in automation test so now if i go over here and if i try doing a step over you see that we get product which is null the reason being there is no such product at the moment of that particular name which is all right right i mean if you don't really have any product which is okay but if you try to perform a remove operation it is going to throw you an exception something like this so this is the exception which is causing you to not going or moving forward so how to resolve this issue i mean there are many different ways that you could do it probably i would say the better way uh, to do it is i'm going to first do this i'm going to first get a product over here so i'm just going to go and i'm going to say var prod is equal to product repository dot get product and once again there is only one uh, method called get product by id but i actually require get product by name something like that so let's go to the repository over here and i'm just going to run this pretty quickly because i have been showing this quite a long time right now so let me do it so string of the name name and i'm going to go to the i product repository hit control dot implement the interface and you see we have this get product by id so i'm going to copy this one and over here i'm going to paste it but instead of id i'm just going to find using its name i'm going to save it uh, and now we have the get product by name and over here i'm going to pass the product dot name something like this so if i get a product by name as empty then don't even try deleting the product for me so something like this so if the product is null then don't perform a delete operation for me so this way we don't get the exception that we are getting at the moment super easy right i'm gonna save this guy and once again i made the changes in our application so i'm gonna go ahead and perform a build operation and then i'm going to do an up and let's try running the code and see what's going to basically happen and i believe the code is going to work so i'm going to run both the tests at the moment so you can see that the application is open it's running the test and it is going to do it as expected so even if your application stops in the test execution in the middle something like that so during the edit operation what i'm going to do is i'm just going to close the window you see that the test has been failed which is all right this is just intentional and now even if i running the same test again this should make the edit code work without any failure do you see that it is just working because it always deletes the product before even it actually executes the actual edit operation for us over here so this is the way or the efficient test way that we started off in our last section and we're still continuing it in this section to perform an efficient testing of our code using database so in fact you are doing a database testing in this place by even better way using the orm of c sharps using entity framework and using all the cool things within your code to make these things happen and this is awesome to see your code is now very very maintainable and it is actually using all the applications code at the same time your test code has got no hard coded value anywhere like a query or something like that it is just using the orm pretty much like the application even it is using the model of your application so that it replicates pretty much like your application and even if your application changes your test code is instantly going to report an issue saying there is a change and you go and modify the test so that it will be always up to date with your product and they both go hand in hand that's how agile world work and that's how things works in nature so that's it guys this is how we could perform the delete operation globally using the code that we have written over here